is another joke okay and i should do more of joke videos just be watching this uh, harry and megan documented crap <laughs> commenting on the you know cats of the royal family you know okay but seriously mm, yeah okay so uh, you know it's easy for you know royal as is to do all of this because they got servants at their back end call but some of us have to get into each other's pants to get things done around here see the joke is the royal families they got servants you know i'm i'm just i'm just being a bit silly okay don't take it to heart <laughs> okay i don't want a royal uh, mess in my hands <laughs> okay so uh, that's what it means they have servants so it's easy for them to do this and that but i have to get into someone else's pants to you know each other's pants the joke is that we are marrying to get household work help each other not not man to female each we are basically marrying because the girl is good at the some stuff and we are good at some stuff in the house like dusting and my father <laughs> does a lot of dusting but that's for different reasons he was also head of the forensics department in the super spy lab or whatever so that's what some of us have to work to get into other people's pants to work to help with the work the house work because you're not that rich huh. i can't even get a maid if i pray to <coughs> anyways so you get the joke right that's the important part that you get the joke not that i'm dying of high cholesterol or high obesity or total dis control dysfunction imbalance as they say of every possible system in the human body from electrolyte imbalance to hormone to it's possible my every organ has got shot been shot like there is 20% working capacity yeah that's right and who did that <coughs> this is quite cruel this is the story of that mentally retarded child left to die by their parents and not a single person in the community society uh, looked into it or came to know about it and even after coming to know about it does absolutely nothing can you imagine a mentally retarded child in this case mentally ill child thrown into some apartment by a rich family can you imagine if you read if you, someone wrote the news and got this out i think i'm trying to soften the blow i'm still loving my parents <laughs> look at this that's, that's that's like the doggy this, this is that puppy that's that the mother and father don't want and want, are hitting and you know biting off but the puppy still comes back because it has got no one else <laughs> that's so sad it is puppy's got no one else so it goes back to the abusive male or father or mother dog because you know it's got no one else i know that feeling so anyways that's what so that's what it is uh, the puppy uh, you know this mentally retarded child mentally ill maybe thrown into an apartment and asked to live and be indip- it's for his independence i mean independent now my dear they don't want to take care of a mentally ill child maybe <laughs> and uh, you know supply demand after if i don't speak for one week my parents will start in their human brains demand you know like oh maybe he is something <laughs> we will get something out of him we don't want to lose out on that he's independent he may make money he needs some of that money oh loving the most loving parents as per lots of people maybe they are making fun of me i can't understand jokes but that's it yeah thrown into apartment and almost died four five times in the apartment alone and with uh, company around not a single soul helped <laughs> in as in that <clears throat> yeah that was my last two years and now i'm talking again hallelujah <coughs> i 
I am doing this even with death. Close to me, not so close to me now. Maybe a bit yesterday also. <laughs> I love um, touch and go things. So anyways, now things have changed in the last one month. A bit late, the help arrived a bit late, but from all quarters maybe, but very interesting. <laughs> I have to start to develop a psyche where I consider myself non-human. I would rather side with the dogs. And I see how that can be a psychological trap, but maybe just don't trust humans anymore. It feels a bit saying, weird saying that almost as if I am not human, but I guess there are lots of people, millions of people who live like this. And at some point you don't bother with complaining. You just do avoid because you have complained and complained with even more hits when you complain. So you realize that these are this is an intrinsically mostly disgusting species. Uh, I'm, 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 okay, this might be, <coughs> yeah, somewhat like that. Not disgusting, but uh, maybe I, I'm, I should lose my innocence a couple of more times, then maybe I'll be integrated into, rehabilitated is the word psychiatrist use. I truly wonder if I need to be, still, I live my own life and die. It will be so much better. Oh. So anyways, um, <coughs> what has this gone? From comedy to tragedy. Not tragedy, just somber. So it's called somber, being somber. I think uh, Malayalam has such a short range of normalcy and talk and literature. There's no literature in Malayalam, have you noticed that? There are like five writers and po- poets. Malayalam is, Kerala and Malayalis are such narrow people. Okay, maybe that's why I'm in demand. <laughs> okay, leave it. Later, later. And more than that, oh man, I'm saying the same thing again, but it's been, uh, I've had like 10 episodes of almost death in the last 2 3 years. And uh, wow, no parents, they're afraid of Corona. I had one small pup, <coughs> puppy, and that's pretty much the human development index gave me. <laughs> Now I'm getting, while I'm getting better, I think <coughs> after I complained, 